$10,000, what the f If you're not careful and paying attention, you could easily spend $35,000 or more over the space of the next decade on just one program. Whereas if you're smart about it from day one, you could save yourself a boatload of money. In today's video, we're breaking down the best and worst architectural software and which ones you should learn right now in 2022. Not only are we talking about architectural design software, but we're also gonna be looking at the top seven rendering programs alongside the top five architectural design programs. Let's get started with the top seven architectural rendering programs, because at the end of the day, everybody loves a good, pretty picture. First of all, we're gonna be starting off with two of my favorites. Enscape and Twin Motion. Now, Enscape and Twin Motion are much for muchness. They are near identical programs that can produce near identical results. Nonetheless, both of these programs are exceptionally easy to learn and generate incredible images in the amount of time it takes to actually produce one. Now, neither of these programs are cheap. First of all, Twin Motion is $790 for a one off payment. However, if you do buy one of the architectural softwares I'm talking about, you can get it completely free. So stay tuned for that as we break it down further. Enscape, on the other hand, is $58.90 per month if you want a fixed license on one computer, or it's $109 per month if you want a floating license so you can transfer it between all the computers in the office. Quickly, you realize that Enscape will become significantly more expensive than Twinmotion. Now, one of the benefits with Twinmotion is to install Twinmotion, you actually have to download the Unreal Engine suite, which allows you to also download Unreal Engine 5. If you haven't heard of Unreal Engine 5, it is a phenomenal program designed for video games and cinematics. However, it is extremely complicated to learn with a very steep learning curve. On the bright side, Unreal Engine 5 is completely free. So anybody can go ahead and download it today, install it today, and start learning without spending a single dollar. To take it to the next level, we're really starting to spend a lot of money now, but we're also starting to get some incredible results. First of all, we have Lumion and we have 3DS Max. Lumion is kind of the introduction into that next series of higher end renders. Again, on the side of Twin Motion, not high, high end, but it does produce some phenomenal images. Whereas 3DS Max is the be all end all. Lumion comes with two pricing options. It is a perpetual license, which means it is yours forever. For $2,200, you get one third of the capabilities Lumion is actually capable of. Whereas for $4,400, you get the full suite. 3DS Max, on the other hand, may sound cheaper up front, but it is not a perpetual license. You have to pay for it every single year, and it costs $2,390. Last but not least is Cinema 4D and V-Ray. Both Cinema 4D and V-Ray basically work hand in hand. Cinema 4D is as little as $90 a month, whereas V-Ray is even cheaper at $38.90 a month. If you stick around to the end, I'll tell you how you can get most, if not all of these softwares, either 100% free or significantly discounted. If I was to go back as a professional architect and relearn something from the start back in my university days, I would definitely have learned 3ds Max and potentially V-Ray because both of these can produce phenomenal results. Let's move on to the architectural design software, the nuts and bolts of what all architects need to understand and what all architecture students need to learn rapidly. You can spend as little as zero dollars all the way up to ten thousand dollars by simply picking different softwares. So we're gonna go through my top five and personal favorites, as well as select my personal winner that I believe is the most beneficial for all students to learn moving forward. So let's start with the cheapest and easiest to learn. SketchUp is 100% free, but it can also cost you a couple hundred dollars a year. Next is BricsCAD, and I have spoken about BricsCAD on this channel before. BricsCAD is basically an up and coming BIM software. It is something that is focusing their attention on AI and artificial intelligence to be able to actually push the industry further. BricsCAD is a perpetual license on the other hand, which is a huge win. And for $2,625, it can be yours forever. Third on the list is AutoCAD. Now everybody has heard about AutoCAD. It is that program that people have been using for decades. 
The problem with AutoCAD is it is very outdated and it isn't catching up to the rest of the world. That's why Autodesk was able to create Revit and basically take that program to the next level, but people are still very loyal to AutoCAD, so that's why it makes it to this top five list. AutoCAD is not cheap again, but it is one of the cheapest softwares. At $2,945 a year, it isn't cheap, but it does the job very, very well and it is able to communicate with every single other program out there by simply importing DWGs. Speaking of AutoCAD, we obviously move up to Revit. Now, Revit is one of the be-all, end-all softwares on this list. It is a BIM software, it allows you to model some of the most complex projects in the world and some of those projects have actually been modeled on Revit. Revit has an extremely steep learning curve, but once you've figured out Revit, it is a phenomenal program that you can do anything that you can imagine. It isn't cheap. Just like every other architectural software, it is definitely not cheap. Revit is gonna cost you $3,580 per year. Now, in the space of 10 years, which is a very, very short architectural career, let's be honest, that's almost $36,000 that you're going to spend on just one program in the office. So make sure that if you're going to learn Revit, and if you're thinking about starting your own office, downloading it and paying for it yourself, this is gonna be a very large continuous cost with their base price continuously going up every year and some of the biggest architectural firms in the world even complaining directly to Revit about this. So at the end of the day, Revit is phenomenal. It is something that is well worth learning and investing your time into. Just be mindful of the steep cost that you're gonna be paying for a lifetime. Last but not least on this list is Archicad. Now, if you've been on this channel before, you know I am an Archicad user and I am extremely biased to this software. However, Archicad is not cheap. It is by far the most expensive upfront capital cost on this entire list, both lists included. So for $10,700, you can get a perpetual license at Archicad today. However, having said that, if you have that upfront investment and that upfront capital, it is yours forever. No more upgrades, no more payments, it is yours. Archicad will have additional upgrades, same as every other software that you have to pay for, but you don't have to keep paying for it to use it and you can continue with that actual system that you purchase. Another additional bonus to Archicad, if you purchase Archicad, you get Twinmotion for free. So instead of paying an additional $790, like previously mentioned, you're gonna get that 100% free, which is going to drive that overall cost base down significantly. If I was gonna go back in my architectural career and start again, learn a new software from day one, personally, it would again still be Archicad 100% hands down, but at the same time, it would also be Revit. I believe that anybody looking to learn architectural software for a professional purpose should learn both, for a personal purpose, should pick one and potentially even pick SketchUp just so you can get some mass free modeling going and get yourself into that space rather than committing so much money to try and work your way into architecture. Now, like I promised previously, all of these softwares are incredibly expensive, but that doesn't mean you can't download them today. If you're a student in any way, shape or form, either university, college, or even high school and have some sort of educational email address, you can sign up to basically every single one of these for either a free one year trial or a free perpetual license, which basically allows you to download, install, and run any of these softwares. At the same time, if you're looking at buying Archicad, something that they don't advertise very often and you have to actually dig through all of the information is their Archicad Start Edition. Revit also has their Revit Lite edition. Both of these softwares you can get for 50% off their asking price, which is phenomenal and a great way to get a foot in the door if you're looking to explore these softwares. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name's David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And every Monday, we talk about architecture and technology on this channel. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure you check out the playlist to the side of me to be able to continue watching some great content. If you really truly love this video, I'd appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next Monday.